Johnson plays with primatologist Davis Okoye and Brad Pitayon's adaption of a classic 1986 arcade game. Naturally, Okoye has a covert military history but, like a lot of highly trained international commandos, he is now working at the San Diego Zoo. His timing is particularly focused on a hulking albino gorilla called George. They're pals, Davis and George, who fist bump and play pranks on one another. Usually paired with smaller companies like Kevin Hart or Moana, Dwayne Johnson is for after the diminutive one in Rampage, a hopelessly dull and bizarrely self-serious monster movie. The two are actually a winning pair, but Rampage, unfortunately, isn't the rock and monkey buddy comedy, The Gorilla and the Gorilla? We might crave. Rampage is professional looking, thanks to the well-integrated effects artistry of Weta Digital. We have become spoiled, perhaps, by affecting computer-generated primates thanks to the Planet of the Apes franchise. But George, played with motion captured by Jason Lyles, still holds his own in the monkey movie kingdom. And Johnson, so recently in the jungle for Jumanji, remains a truly indefatigable movie star capable of carrying even the most half-baked of premises with colossal charisma. Rampage would surely sink a less sturdy action star, yet even here the wayward mishmash of monster movie tropes only seem to ping off him like bullets deflected by Superman. The objective of the original 8-bit video game was to while controlling one of three giant monsters, a gorilla, dinosaur or werewolf, reduce a city to rubble. Naturally, a story of such pathos and originality brought Hollywood rushing with a check for millions. What the film's writers, Ryan Engel, Carlton Cuse, Ryan J. Kendall, Adam Stikeel, have come up with from this skeletal concept is something overly elaborate and curiously humorless. The film opens ominously in space, where a genetic experiment has created a giant mutated rat that chews up the space station's crew, but not before an escape pod with three samples shoots back to Earth. The canisters of serum land alongside an alligator in the Florida Everglades, a wolf in Wyoming and at George's habitat in San Diego. Each quickly swells massively while simultaneously becoming increasingly aggressive. With a slightly different trajectory, we might have gotten a more unpredictable mutant trio like maybe a cockatoo, a koala and Keith Olbermann. Now that would be interesting. The company behind the trials tries to quietly recapture the lab results. Malin Ackerman, the fine actress of Billions, plays its ruthless chief executive, alongside her more clueless brother, played by Jake Lacey. Meanwhile, a consortium of military and government agencies try and fail to capture or kill the beasts as they converge on Chicago. Naomi Harris plays a genetic engineer. But the only performance really of note in Rampage is by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who plays an agent for an unnamed government agency with wild-eyed, cowboy abandon. The scenery might be digital, but that doesn't stop him from trying to chew it all. As a product that reunites the director and star of San Andreas and Journey 2, The Mysterious Island, Rampage is similarly forgettable popcorn fare that, in almost every scene feels like a knockoff of something else. And it should be funny. Movies about giant mutant animals that flock to the Windy City really ought to be funny. Morgan seems to be the only one to realize that in monster camp like this, go big or go home. Rampage, a Warner Brothers release, is rated PG-13 by the Motion Picture Association of America for sequences of violence, action and destruction, brief language and crude gestures. Running time, 107 minutes. One and a half stars out of four. <laughs>